What's up, YouTube? Um, I have somebody that watches my videos that asked me a couple questions. Um, it is Slim Richmond. Um, he asked me how to how to wire a Ranco thermostat or a Johnson Controls thermostat. Sorry, they're pretty much the same thing. Um, I thought I was gonna just take a couple pictures and email them and stuff, but this is gonna be a whole hell of a lot easier to actually just make a video about how to do it. First you start out, you got your controller, okay? Um, it's gonna be a lot easier if you have a multimeter. This is just a very, very basic, very, very cheap multimeter. Very cheap. And you're gonna need a screwdriver right now I, I wasn't really planning on it, but this is what I'm using. It's a screwdriver here. I unscrewed these. You can see the internal workings. Um, it's going to be a lot easier if you have a very small screwdriver, a wire screwdriver, terminal screwdriver, whatever you want to call it. For those little screwdrivers, or I'm sorry, for those little screws right there and those little screws right there. Okay, so once you have those, then um, you can start putting this together. Obviously, you see I already have this together, but I'm going to kind of walk you through it and show you how to do this. All right, next you'll need two extension cords. I get the ones that are grounded. Um, these are nice, uh, I think, 16 gauge American wire gauge wire. I don't know. If you are watching it overseas, what they called over there, I like the flat. This also helps um, if you want to. If you don't have a multimeter and you want to trace your wires, you can trace them very. Easy. Um, I did go to school for electrical engineering for about three years, so this stuff comes pretty natural to me. <laughs> um, anyways, two of these cords. Okay, you'll cut off one end, so you'll have a cord that's, um, the wires are showing, okay, you'll have two or three wires showing, um, depending on if you get a grounded extension cord or not, okay, and then the other end is this, then you'll have one extension cord with the three wires showing, and the other, other end is this, okay. So, as you see here, we have two wires plugged in there. I'll show you how to do this in a second. Coming out into this. This is what you plug into the wall. This is what you're going to plug your heat tape, your heat tape into, is this, okay? You'll also get a... Um, temperature probe. This is already plugged in and taped in the back underneath there. But this is the easiest part, one of the easiest parts in this, and you can do it right away. Doesn't matter what side or what wire you put on what, but you put, want to put one on this bottom screw and one in the middle screw. Okay? Next, I'm not 100% sure how they come, but you need these. You want those jumpers to look just like that. Um, I pulled up the wiring schematic diagram, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
you see the jumpers here, the two, and this one. These uh, show you, this one here is just for the touchpad to be locked or unlocked. You want to keep that unlocked. Um, you do not want it like this. The heating mode it will cut in at your set point. So like, let's say you have your set point at 90 degrees. The heat will turn on at 90 degrees and go up to however hot that it will go to. Cooling mode, obviously you're not cooling. This is what you want. Heating mode, cut out at set point. So your heat tape will come on until it reaches your set point. And like I said, let's let's say your set point is at 90 degrees. Okay, so um, the, it'll be heating until 90 degrees and it will cut out then. Okay, that's where you want uh, that's how you want your jumpers to to be and you see it right there those two jumpers okay now this part's going to be a little bit difficult to see because I do have the other wire in here but pretend this this wire you see with the orange pretend like this isn't here yet and this wire with the orange is also this wire right here okay take your wire that you've cut and that this is still on the other end okay um, as you can see it plugs into the wall just like that um, in your wall there should be a bigger hole for your the socket and this will be the smaller end obviously there's the same here but that's how it is. Um, this is just the molly meter. You can see this is how I see what wire goes in what. These touch, it'll go off. Okay, so we're gonna put this right here. So it's going into the big hole in your outlet. This wire is going to go into this screw. No other screw gets the sound. Okay, that one right there. And if you don't have one of these, like I said, the flat, you can follow it all the way up. Just make sure make sure that wire it's so hard to do this looking through the camera goes right there okay now the other end of that this one will go right here nowhere else right there okay you can see them, see both of those down there. And you actually don't use the ground wire. This is just the jumper that you need to put in. And that goes from this screw to this screw. Okay, so you have you have your two wires from your first cable. Right there's one, and right there's one. Right there. And right there and you take the little ground take a little piece of ground and I just take it from the, the end of this cut you know two inch piece make sure you strip them back just far enough as you can see you barely see any wire in there and that's perfect that's how you want this is actually shown a little bit more than I like but it's fine and your ground will go from there to there. Okay, once you got that, then you take your wire that has sorry. This on the end. Okay? As you can see, the big hole 
in the small hole that I was talking about. So let's take the wire that's from the big hole. Where's that going to go? That's going to go right there as well. Okay, that's the same. That big one, that wire there, this is the same. This is the big one from here. Okay. And again, if you don't have one of these, you can just follow, it'll be this wire. Just follow it all the way up. And I'll show you again. Stick that into the big slot. It's right there. No other one is connected. The wire that's in the small end, that goes over here. Okay. It's actually that's it. So you can see this wire that's got the orange you have your one wire from the big slot going in right here and the wire from the small slot going right here okay you have your common that's what this is and you are you want this the output needs to be this NO stands for normally open. Okay. That's just. Look. This is normally closed, normally open. You want this to when it shuts off, it's going to be open and you won't have any power to it. Um, if you did it the other way, when this turns off, it'll be open and there'll be the way this is wired up there will be power going to it so you don't want that okay again the cord down at the bottom here is the cord that you plug into the wall and the big slot here and the small slot here and it's the same way with the other cord. This is the big slot, this is the small slot. Make sure you run it through here. Um, I put a couple wire ties right here to just help secure it. I did put some tape on there, I took that off to help. Um, you can also get, let me show you. You can also get something like that. I was lazy this last time and didn't get one of those. That just holds all the wires together so they don't move. And that's about it. Um, it's very easy. Just takes a little bit of time. Make sure you do not want to strip your wires way far back um, you might want to practice a little bit you'll need a, uh, a wire stripper <coughs> sorry you'll need a wire stripper and um, this is the small screwdriver and that's that's about it usually there's a wire cutter on the strippers that you get if you have any questions um, feel free to let me know again this comes pretty easy remember this okay if you do not plug this in and touch any anything in here it will it'll hurt I've been shocked before did not feel good I was shocked on my shoulder, oh, I'm sorry, my elbow. I was basically working. I used to build, design and build control electrical 
electrical control panels and my elbow touched uh, component and it hurt. Uh, my whole arm went numb for a while. Um, I could not work for a couple hours, but I was fine. Screw it back on, and then you, you'll be able to plug it in then, turn it on, uh, follow the directions, put your set points in, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching.